6-9. But the tap control by SMU. Down from the perimeter. They had a quick shot there a moment ago of John Shoemate of SMU. Boy, Todd Day didn't take long to light it up with a three. Well, Todd Day, take a look at that 3-2. Arkansas quickly in the forecourt, and there's Day dumping it off to credit. Well, Arkansas hit their first two shots, and SMU's hit their first shot. There to Gerald Lewis. There's Coleman. Good shooter. Two points for Coburn. 5-4, Arkansas. Almost a three. He's leading the nation in accuracy for three-point shooting. 56% beyond 19. Patterson. Oh, that was nice. Patterson had 16 points the first time these two teams played, and Arkansas suddenly finds himself past Purdue, not quite ready for it. Here's Gerald Lewis. Good rotation on that shot. You yes. knew it was going in. Purdue, that's not too comfortable. Todd Day for... Nope, didn't get it. But rebounded by Oliver Miller. Boy, Arkansas is getting heavy offensive board, and the basket goes down. Miller's the basket will count. Boy, that turned the crowd on. See, the count went off, though, when he, when he put it on the floor. Blocked by Mario Credit, and Colburn with a tough rebound. Credit there, and Miller, and he still caught up. Blocked in Patterson. Out of bounds, it belonged to SMU. One of 11 guys in the first half, usually. They're the only team in the league I, that I know of, as Murray shoots for three and makes it. The only team in the league that I know of that has started all 10 of their players at one time or another. That is unusual. Murray makes the three-pointer in Arkansas. Back in front by... Kinzer. Good pass inside to Mason. Good pass Good from the pass. freshman. Good assist. Tim Mason puts SMU back in front by two, 17-15. Under 10 minutes to play. Might be interesting to point out that the last Southwest Conference team to win here in Fayetteville was SMU two years ago. Credit. Gets his second basket of the day. That's when Armstrong had such a great game. Wasn't it? Arkansas with their starting five back on the floor. Day, nice move inside. Oh, was that nice? He's got such great body control when he goes up a shot. Score tied again. And SMU just threw it away against the Arkansas press. Now, this is when it really gets critical. They got their turnover. Well, they get it. Bowers, Mayberry, Todd Day for three. Yes, sir, he gets his second three-pointer. Day is at the last two baskets now for the Razorbacks, and they take a three-point lead. Our ball game's been tied. Todd Day, oh, wide open. Oh, what a great pass from Todd Day to Miller. I tell you, they just found a weak spot in the zone, and Day hit him from, a, from really out in a three-point range. He made that pass. Here's another swipe. Nope. SMU gets it back. Look at that. They got three on one. And it's been all Arkansas. Razorbacks looking for their 23rd victory of the year. And there is Darrell Hawkins. Sophomore from Waller. Number 32. 2.43 to play in the half. Arkansas with Lindsey Howe shooting and scoring two more. Well, the Razorbacks look like they're totally relaxed right oh, now. Oh, they're so relaxed right now. Right. That's... There's another steal. Ernie Murray. Nice move inside. Boy, he made a nice crossover move and used that left hand, laid it in there very nice. new team by giving him a false count. Valentino slips it home nicely. Couple of baskets by Roy Valentino. Well, that cuts the halftime margin down now to 40 to 26. For the Arkansas Razorbacks outscoring SMU 20 to 6. After the 8 16 it's probably because they don't feel like they have a three-point shooter, but they're not trying to get them either. They've only taken one. There's Mayberry's first basket of the day, and he's got a steal. Mayberry getting his first basket of the day, and Arkansas starts off the second half doing just what they did in the first half, and that is get the turnover and convert it into a quick mark. Coordinator of officials. Credit for the easy point for Arkansas. And the Razorbacks just pour it on. They scored the first four points of the second half and lead it 44-26. That a lot too. <laughs> so it's not an unheard of thing. Oh, great move by Moore. Super Miller. There's another turnover. Another turnover. That's an easy two for Bowers. That's his first pass here today. I say a few years ago, AM ended up last. Knocked off the number one team in the first round and then went on and won the tournament. Very true. But, Coach, I would have 
There's another. A gorilla dunk. He didn't see anybody want to get in front of him. No. Take a charge. Six and a half. Credit. Razorbacks, 21 point Arkansas lead, eight minutes to play in the ball game. Look that hook shot by Kinder. Did you All see right. that? Well, I just saw the tail end of it. That's eight points. That matches his career high that he got against Notre Dame. Didn't take him long to counter, though, no, did it? Sure did. Nice little, by Miller. little jump hook. You know, it's interesting to look at setting a screen for Rod Hampton. And ball snatched away on turnover number 23 by Daryl Hawkins. Lindsey Howe. Arkansas is just so relaxed, they can't miss. Oh, well, they can't miss. Oliver Miller on Kinzer. Two more. Oh, Miller. Nice. Miller 27. Marks. Oh, boy. Oh, that was quite a move and quite a shot. Here's Larry Marks back at the stripe with 19 seconds to play. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Who's got the pumpkin win there? So every Arkansas player who has played today has scored. All 11 of the Arkansas Razorbacks who have played today have scored. That's the end of the ball game. 77-46. So Arkansas wins it going away with a 77-46 victory over the SMU Mustangs. And the Razorbacks now move two games in front of Texas. We'll be back with more.